Now, in most of sub-Saharan Africa, only a small percentage of upper-income households enjoy the convenience of card-based online and mobile banking and payments. The reality is digital and mobile money has become the mode of choice, presenting a lower cost, more scalable alternative to traditional uh, banking. Now, that is why Africa's fintech space is growing so fast, commanding the attention of banks and investors as well. The payment and finance category has seen the highest number of startups, but there have been a few success stories so far. One of them is Cellulent, an African digital payments provider with offices in 11 African countries. Now, the first which is headquartered in Kenya and Nigeria, just received a $47.5 million uh, investment from the RISE Fund. It is currently the largest equity deal in Africa's fintech and payment space. Now, Celluland says the money will be used to extend its payments ecosystem across the continent. Well, let's find out more about this groundbreaking deal. We are joined by the co-founders and CEOs of the firm, Ken Njoroge, right here in Nairobi. And Bolaji Akimboro joins us in Lagos. Very, well, very warm welcome to both of you. Thank now, you. Let's start Glad with to be you. here, Uche. Thank you. Now, let's, let's start with you, Ken. This is certainly quite a huge investment. Uh, tell us how these funds will certainly broaden the scale of the payments uh, business and your strategy on the continent. Okay, thank you. That's a good question. Uh, so we, we essentially focus on three payment segments. So one, uh, groundbreaking work in agriculture in Nigeria, uh, payments for digital banking outside of Kenya and the greater East Africa and Southern Africa region, and uh, internet payments for internet brands that basically want to take payments from Africans. Uh, so we basically built out this platform across 11 countries uh, and uh, with uh, about 94 banks and about 17 mobile money operators connected to our platform. Uh, so with this investment, uh, we hope to scale and deepen a lot of these offerings across multiple markets. For instance, uh, the payments in agriculture segment, we are only doing that work in Nigeria. And yet, uh, and so there we are serving about 17 million farmers or so. Right. Uh, and yet there's about 200 million farmers across Africa. So there is a, a huge scope to extend some of that transformation of payments work mm -hmm. across multiple countries. Uh, deepen the internet offering by basically putting a couple of uh, a large uh, a very large number of internet brands that want to take uh, payments from an increasingly digital Africa and um, expand the payments from uh, roughly about 12% uh, of uh, bank accounts to uh, to a much larger share so that's mm. essentially the bulk of our, uh, of our investment right. uh, and that's largely people so basically uh, hiring uh, tech talent mm. and deploying it across the different countries to basically scale out these program, this mm. uh, products and these programs in these mm. markets. Mm. Now, Bology, of course, is your co-founder. Bology, I'd like to bring you in on the interview. Now, the fintech space, Bology, uh, today is all about new innovative products with tailor-made solutions, especially uh, for the continent. Are we going to see some new products uh, coming in from Cellulent with this huge investment? Thank you for the question. Yes, you are. And the most interesting thing you are going to see are two innovative products from our company. One of them is what Ken already mentioned, the one we call Agricor, which is an end-to-end -end payment product for agriculture that is based on a blockchain. And that's the only blockchain payment product today for agriculture on the continent. And it solves a number of problems, speed of transactions in agriculture, speed of getting access to markets, farmers can find markets much, much faster, and speed of getting inputs, which is a big problem on the African continent, and speed of getting loans. So through that product, millions and millions of African farmers are gonna get a better life. And the other innovative product is the one that we call Mula, which is a single point of connection for people that want to collect payments on the African continent. So when you collect to, when you connect to Mola, you can collect payment from anywhere on the continent. Mm. So those are the two big innovations you're going to see from our company this year. Thank you. Mm, quite interesting. And Ken, uh, we just discussed how the digital uh, payment segment has seen the highest number of startups, but not very many success uh, stories. Why do you think that is? And uh, does this deal mark a change uh, in the sector moving forward? Yeah, I think it's an interesting time for the sector. So, so the sector is actually very young. I think uh, less than 10 years, the fintech and payment sector in Africa is less than 10 years old. So in, it's very young in, in many ways. 
Um, I think the number, the large number of startups is indicative of the size of the opportunity. I mean, it's a mm. huge untapped segment, large community of unbanked uh, people, um, and then basically huge scope. I mean, the market is 98% uh, still cash. Mm. So there's huge scope for digitization. And you know, of course, capital follows opportunity. So we expect that uh, over the next couple of years, um, you will see a lot of uh, uh, investments going into that sector. Uh, investments going into other companies like Cellular. So I think this is essentially just the size of the deal, of course, rep represents the size of the opportunity. And uh, it's very possible that we're going to begin to see those types of investments going into mm. the sector. Of course, it took you a while to get this sort of investment. Yes, it did. You guys have been around for a while before. This yes, came absolutely. Through. And yeah. of course, uh, the, the company is in about 11 uh, countries uh, on the continent. So, Bology, it's been said that uh, the road to Africa's future growth is uh, paved with electronic payments. Now, besides hubs like Kenya, where we have uh, things like M-Pesa, where else on the continent do you see growth in the uptake of digital? Uh, and suddenly mobile payments. I mean, these are the places that we see tremendous growth and we look at them in terms of regions. We see a lot of growth that are going to come out of West Africa, driven by Nigeria and driven by countries like Cote d'Ivoire. And then rapid growth coming out of Central Africa, Cameroon and the likes and then significant growth coming out of emerging payment markets like Zambia, we see lots and lots of growth. And then there are niche markets like Malawi, where we also work, that we're going to see interesting growth numbers. And then South Africa, where mobile payments have not really caught fire, we expect it to catch fire mm. alongside the momentum taking place on the rest of the continent. Thank you. Mm. Well, many thanks to both of you for coming to the studio, giving us your insights. Of course, that was Bolaji Akimboro in Lagos and Ken Jorge joining us here in Kenya. They're the co-founders and CEOs of Cellulant.